Welcome back. An opportunity is blossoming for local businesses and artists receiving grants to use their work to attract more people downtown. It is an initiative that started last summer during the pandemic, and it looks like it might be here to stay. News Force Lauren Daniels reports. The streets of downtown Oklahoma City are a little busier than last year. And some of the buildings are a little brighter. This was meant to boost the spirits of folks who were coming downtown to remind them that we're stronger together. And it was great because we got a permanent mural to have an automobile alley. Downtown Oklahoma City Initiatives works to place more public art downtown, in turn, supporting local businesses. But in 2020, the pandemic put a halt to a lot of their programs. So we decided to launch the micro grant program to tap the minds of the community and artists and individuals to see what they could come up with for doing public art and placemaking downtown. It was such a hit, they continued it this year, funding $30,000 in grant applications from artists. Micro grant recipients like artist Marissa Ragland received anywhere from $1,000 to $3,000. Throughout this year of so much uncertainty, it's been so great to have a project now that can bloom from that. Raglan will be creating a temporary wheat paste mural on the back wall of Plenty Mercantile. The art is inspired by her garden of plenty at home. This is really a labor of love through the pandemic um, and dealing with some medical uh, challenges with my son. We have been able to develop a garden together. Other spaces scattered downtown will be interactive. We have some uh, events and activations such as the crew workspace think park. This is a program where puzzles and games and activities will be designed by an artist in front of crew workspace. Just being able to be a part of the Oklahoma art scene, I think um, there are so many opportunities. You just have to go looking for it. In downtown Oklahoma City, Lauren Daniels, Oklahoma's News 4. And you know what? They've budgeted to do it again in fiscal year 2022. Installations will be in every downtown district and the work begins on September 12th.